Hello. This video will show you how to use the new frame to sample optimization in HDL Coder to develop frame based algorithms for deployment onto an FPGA or ASIC device. It is common to use MATLAB and Simulink to model frame based algorithms. For example, if you want to compute the complement image of this penguin, you can use the IM complement function available in the image processing toolbox. Processing large data sets in hardware is not as easy. For instance, to deploy a frame-based model onto an FPGA for a 4K image, you would need access to 17 million I.O. pins to write and read the images. Besides, there isn't enough internal memory or compute capability to store and process all the data in a single time step. To deploy a frame-based model onto an FPGA, you are required to translate your algorithms so that they can operate on streams of data rather than frames. For the image complement example, you can quickly get the stream-based version of the algorithm since the operation can be applied independently to each pixel as you stream it to the hardware. However, additional considerations are needed for algorithms that require a window of samples to compute the output, such as filtering, which is used in many signal processing applications. Let's see another example. In MATLAB, you can use the IM filter function to convolve a 3x3 kernel with an image to blur it but you cannot generate HDL code directly from this function. To deploy this filter to hardware, in addition to modeling your algorithm, you would also need to model the logic to handle the pixel streaming. Let's see this in Simulink. If you are familiar with handling streams of data, you can manually translate your algorithm to operate on samples in Simulink. For example, to model the sample-based version of the 2D moving average filter, you can use two-line buffers neighborhood management logic, and math blocks to operate on the window of samples. However, the conversion of advanced algorithms to FPGA streaming implementations can get complex, and accounting for neighborhoods, alignments, balancers, and valid ready management takes more effort than the actual algorithm itself. Starting in MATLAB R2022B, HDL Coder automates this conversion using the frame-to-sample optimization, when you use this optimization, HDL coder also generates the necessary logic to store samples inside the dot inline buffers, align streams, balance data paths, and create external memory interfaces so that you can concentrate on your algorithm. There are multiple modeling patterns that you can use to author frame-based algorithms supported by the frame-to-sample optimization. Various element-wise operations, neighborhood operations, and iterative and reduction operations. Let's see this workflow in action with the image blurring example. You can model the 2D convolution using a MATLAB function block and HDL.MPU fun. Navigate to the HDL code generation options in the configuration parameters to enable the frame to sample conversion in the optimization pane. Indicate the dot frame inputs that you would like to convert to samples. Let's take a look at the sample-based HDL code generated by HDL Coder. You can see that the inputs and outputs were converted to samples with extra valid ready control signals to manage the data streaming. Optionally, you can use the validation model to verify the functional equivalence of the original frame-based algorithm with the code generation model. Double click on the sample based dot to inspect the neighborhood creators and the blur compute unit created by HDL Coder. You can also deploy and test your frame based algorithm using the IP core generation workflow with the frame to sample conversion by going through the guided steps in the HDL workflow advisor. Let's give that a try. The target interface table displays streamed port to indicate the data ports available for mapping to stream interfaces. HDL Coder maps the valid and ready port signals automatically, so you don't need to model them separately. Run the rest of the tasks to build and download the FGA Beatstream. You can use the write port and read port functions to exchange data with the FPGA. These commands 
write a complete frame of data to the ARM processor, which streams the data to the sample-based IP core in the FPGA and then reads back the resulting frame. You can then use the IMShow function to display the result of the moving average filter implemented in the FPGA and compare it with the frame implementation in MATLAB. For more information on exchanging data between MATLAB and the FPGA, check out the example to prototype FPGA designs on hardware with lab data by using MATLAB commands. The frame to sample optimization enables you to focus on algorithm development by automating the conversion from a frame-based algorithm to a sample-based algorithm for hardware implementation. Using multiple supported constructs, you can model advanced algorithms such as the Lucas Canate method for optical flow estimation, while the frame to sample optimization handles the data streaming. Do you have advanced frame based algorithms that you want to deploy to FPGA hardware? Try out this feature and see how it can help you improve your workflow in HDL Coder. To learn more about the frame to sample conversion and explore frame modeling examples, visit the HDL Coder documentation page at mathworks.com. Thank you for watching.